Hey guys, it's Tashu Cashew here. I'm going to be playing some Sims 4 today, and we are making a very interesting house. Um, first, I'm going to start off by telling you about this little character that I had made. Um, I didn't film the create a sim and or the house because that usually takes me a really long time and I go really in depth. So if you guys are really interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I can do a video on create a sim and I can make a whole video about creating houses. Um, I could try to make it, especially the house one, make it a little shorter because I do spend a really long time on making houses. I mean like hours. Um, I don't even know how that's possible. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start off by telling you about this character here. So this is my character. She is named Liliana. Now Liliana is, so she's an art lover. She's romantic. She's e evil and some... Oh, she's business savvy, apparently, from choosing a fortune aspiration, which is not really going to matter. I did use the money cheat. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, also let me know. I've played Sims 2 and Sims 3, and I believe in the original Sims. I can't remember that far back, but I'm pretty sure I played the original Sims, like 99% sure. So anyway, so this is my character. Now she's evil because this lovely building is her house put up all the things you'll notice that there are zero windows on this floor and you can see a little side view here and you're probably wondering to yourself why are there no windows on this floor and I shall tell you why first we will start off on the bottom floor here so we have a foyer area here nice little area a very small living room because it's really just gonna be for her um, so yeah we have a nice little living room area here and then we have her bathroom Ooh, sorry I'm shaking you guys around so we have her bathroom here very nice bathroom I think it's one of the nicest ones I've ever made we have her bedroom very pretty 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 and then we have her kitchen. Now this whole bottom floor is for her and her guests but if she finds a guest that she's gonna be a little more interested in, let's just put it that way, we have our second floor. Now this floor is I feel like I could put it, it's a murder house. I am very very interested in the different ways that sims can die, different uh, emotions and such that the sims can have um, I've seen trailers and such for the game and before the game came out them talking about the game. Um, I know of one unique death. Uh, they can literally laugh themselves to death. I haven't seen much actual gameplay of this, um, but I've seen enough to know that I really wanted the game. So basically this complete file is going to be all about just playing with Sims. So when I get them here, I'm going to invite them in, and if I like them enough, we're going to put them in one of, one of our many, many rooms here. Now, I will tell you a little bit about each room. This room here, I shall put up the walls so you can see. We have the... Oh, there's a mirror on that one. Oh, it's alright. So we have stairs that come up, and we have windows and a couple of doors. And there's a window in each and every room, at least. So this room here is going to be a room with nothing but one chair and mirrors all around. I'm curious, um, I know, especially in Sims 3, I know you could talk into a mirror and get your socialization skills up a little. So I'm curious as to what this is going to be like. Um, as it stands right now, nobody has any food, uh, water, anything to sleep in, any toilets, nothing. But as I see fit, I will be adding things to it because I want to kind of keep the same people and see what happens. If one does happen to die, I will replace them. But I kind of want to keep the same people and just kind of see what happens. Now this room has nothing but a stereo in it, um, which can provide some entertainment, but you know, th that's all they have. Um, might take it away, I might leave it in there, eh, it depends on what happens. And then we have a room over here, which is kind of a long room. So I also thought of an idea where I can make um, make it so that there's more than one person in a room at some points. 
and I might like treat one really nice but one really bad or see how like maybe put two people that butt heads together and see how they react to each other. Um, so this room here has got pretty much, it's just got an easel in it. I'm curious to see also if I put somebody in there that's maybe not creative um, with nothing else to do. Will they just paint and whatever and if they do happen to paint and like fill the wall with nothing but like amazing paintings I might be really nice to them and put like since it's a big room like put food in there for them they can cook their own food they'll have a bed the better they do the better things they get now this room <laughs> this room is my personal favorite this is why I like to call the llama room the llama room has a singer singular chair and nothing but llamas staring at it. I know these ones here count as uh, just like decoration. They're not actually children's toys, but what I may do is add some toys in there as well. It'll be kind of like a toy room. We're gonna see what that one's gonna be like. Uh, another one of my personal favorites, the clock room. This room here has nothing but clocks in it. What's better than being locked up in a room with nothing in there? Being locked up in a room with nothing but clocks. So you can see how much time you've been in there and know nothing but the time in here. Tick, 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 tick. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to drive everybody nuts, but in my head, I think it would drive people completely bonkers. This one here is the gnome room. Um, also another room with decorations and there's quite a bit of lamps. There's actually another one here up on this wall that had the wall up. So there's not really much in here other than just some decorations and a chair. A lot of these just have the one chair in it. And in the hallway here, I do have a chair here and a chair here, which if I have the walls up, it's actually pointed right at the glass. So if my lovely character here, Liliana, or Liliana, would like to watch as the people expire or despair, um, she does have the evil trait, so she'll get quite a bit of joy out of it. So yeah, that's my murder house. So this is just more of the downstairs, you can get a bit of an idea. For the gameplay of this, I'll probably have it like this, where the walls are half up, half down. So there are, will be some walls that you guys can't see. This is the way I played Sims 3 all the time, so it's just more comfortable to me. If I have it this way. And, uh, yeah. So that was just the introduction to this character. I will be making another video uh, right after this one. I just wanted to make this quick short one to kind of explain what this is all about. In my next episode, I will be filming, or well, attempting to film her getting people into the house and maybe scope out the neighborhood and see what kind of people I want to take. i um, curious to see if they brought maybe some old families back and uh, Maybe exact some revenge on some old characters that they brought them back. It would be very interesting. So if you guys want to see more Sims 4, be sure to like this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.